what's going on everybody so I bought a tool this guy it's a straight edge it's a mechanic straight edge and what I'm gonna do I am gonna test the uh, the deck on the block and the decking on the head and see if it's level if everything's good that has saved me time from having to send this to the machine shop and uh, yeah go from there so Let's flip this camera around and see what we got. Alright. So, get this thing unwrapped. I'm waiting for this thing so I can test this before I make a decision on if it's going to go out or not. So, this thing is pretty stout. OEM tools. I got it on eBay. Uh... I'm assuming you used the side that the cover was on and saved the cover because I plan on putting the cover back on it. So with that being said, we'll set that on the head and let's see if I get a filler gauge underneath it. Good. I'm gonna test it there. Test it there. Nothing. Nothing. All right, that's two thousandths of an inch. The smallest I have is a uh, it's a hair under a thousandths of an inch. So we'll test that with the small one. Man, so far we're good. Looks like I could build this head. Very cool. This saves me some time and money. Uh oh. Little bit of low spot here. Let's make sure I got it totally, totally level. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> All right, now check across. So far, that looks good. I'm gonna cross it over here. Same thing, a little bit of a low spot there. 2007 inch feeler gauge did not slide under it. So I'm going to double check. All right. I'm going to call this good. I'm just going to clean it up with Scotch Brite pad, degrease the head. I did get a Dremel. So the head's going to get ported a little bit and polished on intake and exhaust HUD. And I might relap the valves and take these valves into work and clean them up on the wire wheel all right so let's jump over and let's test our block all right let's test the block i'm going to use start off with the uh two thousandths of an inch Scoot this back a little bit where these passages are. All 
That's good. Slide it up. That's good. this last spot All right. now let's do an X pattern I'm going from stud hole to stud hole Stud hole to stud hole. All right, now one last test. That center so the weight holds this thing down. I'm liking that, that's looking good. So I called the block good too. All right, so with that said, now that I know my head and my block is good, I am happy because that saves me from having to send it out to a machine shop that's extra money. Because I'm pretty sure it's, uh, to have the head done and everything, what is it? It's like 200 bucks. Then have the block hot tanked, it's 75 bucks. And have the, have the block, uh, decked, it's 150. So, that's money saved right there. And I could clean it up, you know, spend a little extra time on it. Uh, got some other goodies, I'm going to show you guys. I can't wait, man. It's going to be a fun build, and I can't wait to get it in this guy right here. You know, the little Del Sol. Thing's going to be pretty rowdy. I talked to my tuner. Uh, he thinks, you know, 400 horsepower is achievable. So this thing might be 400 plus. That's what we're shooting for. All right, I'm stoked, man. Oh, yeah, I picked that up, too. It's an aluminum uh, Burbit Mac tools. But there's my sandwich plate, my dowel pins for the conversion, my fitting, my stainless steel braided lawn to run from the sandwich plate to the head. Got my GSR ARP head studs, Golden Eagle head gasket. 81 millimeter since it is a b18b1 then i got this guy so we can port the head and after uh well polish the head after i use my burr bit to port it a little bit and uh i got my pistons and rods and stuff in that box
Also got a VMS block guard. Don't mind that, it's my truck mount <laughs> for my trans. These guys, I don't know how these are gonna work. Hopefully they work good. But uh, they're a thousand cc injectors and they do not require a resistor box. I'll make another video because I'm sure I got some uh, injectors that require a resistor box. And I'll show you how to test your injectors to see if you need a resistor box or not. Got this bad boy too. It's the eBay G35. I mean, it looks pretty much well built. So hopefully she lasts. It does looks like it has ports for uh, coolant. Uh, so I'm not going to run that. I'm just going to run oil. Obviously, you need your oil feed and your oil return. So. Hopefully this thing lasts, and uh, yeah, pretty stoked, can't wait, it's almost time to start assembling. Alright guys, so that's it for this video, it was just a quick video, I wanted to measure the deck on the block and the head, and show you guys what was up on that, so I think I'd give it a thumbs up, just gotta clean everything up, get everything prepped, hone my cylinders, uh, set my ring gap. I'm gonna make videos on all that. Uh, get the bottom end all buttoned up. Get the short block built. And in the meantime, you know, work with the head. And uh, yeah, it's almost downhill slope, man. We're halfway there. So, if you guys like the video, click that thumbs up. If you haven't, if you want to watch more videos on the channel, make sure you hit that sub button. Be sure to hit that share button also. That helps me out. And uh, catch you guys on the next one.